And in this video, I don't know what's going to happen. Hey, because what I'm talking about, mm, I've got this thing out, the Wheel of Booze, where there's plenty of ideas for making some drinks on this thing. I've got stuff like... Oh, the Bullis Infusion? Do you remember those little round berries? Um, I've still got some of those in the freezer, so that's a possibility. Um, Foraged Infusion. Now, I haven't been out in the wilderness for a while, have I? Searching for wild flavours, so that's a, that's a good one there. Ha! <laughs> Viewers' recipes. Any of you idiots out there have got any suggestions? Fire them my way, I might be able to um, make some of them. <gasps> Spiced blackberry. Mm. Very nice, very nice indeed. Anyway. Let's spin this wheel and we'll see what I'm going to be making today. Let's see what I'm going to be making today. Let's see what I'm going to be making today. Ooh, ooh, a mystery box. How intriguing. And here it is. Small but mighty, I don't know, the mystery box. Reveal your secrets. Uh, because I'm f I almost forgotten what's in it myself, actually. Let's have a look. Ah, there we go, straight off the bat. What have we got here? A little nugget, a little stem of fresh ginger. That's to start with. Ooh, and... We've also got, what have we got here? There is, ah, recognise this the little thing there? If you can see, that's a star anise. Mmm, oh nice. And, oh, I recognise that. Yeah, a few shards of cinnamon. It's a cinnamon, st ah. And a few, can you see, you can't see these very well. That's some green cardamom seeds. There's a few in there. There's about six of those in there by the looks of it. Yeah, oh, and we've also got some black cardamom seeds. Mmm. Now, the black ones are supposed to be slightly more smokier in flavour, and the green ones, these green ones are supposed to be a bit more on the sweeter side, but we shall see. There's another black cardamom seed there, quite big, still in its pod. Oh, recognise these things, and we've also got four cloves. Very potent. Oh, lovely. Oh, I love cloves. Four of them, and what else have we got? Finally, we've got ourselves, see them, load of... Oh. Fennel seeds. So, chuck them in as well. I'll tell you what we'll do now. Let's make a drink out of this little lot, shall we? So, in a dry pan on a medium-high heat, I chuck in all of the spices, but not the fennel seeds just yet. And I toast these for a couple of minutes. Now I add in the fennel seeds and continue to toast these for a few more minutes. So there we go. And just a word of caution, don't be tempted to turn this up to a high heat or leave it on the heat for too long because you'll end up burning them and then they'll turn all bitter and there's no going back once you've done that. So take them off of the heat as soon as they start turning a nice light brown colour. And all I do with the ginger is just cut the end pieces off and then finely slice all of it up. Okay, so now I'm using 350ml of vodka at 40% ABV. I'm adding to this the lightly crushed toasted spices. Now, I don't have a pestle and mortar, which would have been ideal, so I have spared you my embarrassment of smashing these up with the end of a wooden spoon. But they go in, along with all of the sliced ginger. Okay, well that's it for the minute. I'll now seal this up and leave those flavours to infuse for a couple of days. So, a few days later, 
I'm now running this through a paper coffee filter. And I could have left it right there, couldn't I? But when it comes to drinks, I'm a goofy freaking lightweight. No, I really am. And I like my liqueurs, my flavoured vodkas, to be around 20 to 30% ABV. I also like them smooth and also reasonably sweet. So, I brought 150 ml of water to a boil. I added in 20 grams of sugar, then added a pinch of citric acid to make a simple inverted sugar syrup. And so there's my 350 ml of the spiced vodka. Then I'm now adding the cooled down 150 ml syrup to make half a litre of my mystery box infusion drink at 28% ABV. And this is optional, but to help with the mouth feel of this and to give it a little bit of extra sweetness, I decided to also add in 2 ml of glycerin. Hey, and here it is. Look at that. Look at that fantastic colour. And the smell is absolutely mind-blowing. This really is incredibly nice. That fiery peppery from the gingers coming through. I thought I slightly overdid it with the star anise, but no, I think this has come good. It's had a few, you know, a good few days to settle down and marry these flavours together. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's see what my taste buds think of this. Cheers. Oh yeah, bingo! Now, that is nice, that is super nice. It's not quite as sweet as what I normally like my liqueurs to be. So it could do with, you know, upping the sugar content in the syrup slightly. But I didn't want to, you know, make it too sweet and really uh, diffuse all of those fiery, peppery kind of spices in there. So this is good, and I'll tell you what... This has huge potential to become something extra special. Uh, if you've got any suggestions of what to do differently or anything else, or have a go yourself and see if you think you like it, then feel free to do so. And on that conclusion, thanks ever so much for watching. And until next time, make sure you keep on shining.